The Jean W. Ray Science Campus currently houses both chemistry and biology classes at Murray State University. Phase 3 of the Ray Science Campus is now underway as a groundbreaking ceremony was recently held for the new Engineering and Physics Building. Several dignitaries from the city, county, and state were present to be a part of the groundbreaking ceremony that has been a long time coming for Murray State. Here in West Kentucky at Murray State, by us finally finishing up this entire science complex with this engineering and physics building, it is going to enable our, all of our students here in West Kentucky to get that kind of STEM education that they need to hold the jobs of the 21st century and to make Kentucky what it needs to be in order to be successful. The university has always had very strong programs in the biological and physical sciences and in engineering. Uh, and having up-to-date facilities is just critical for the full and uh, adequate preparation of students to go into those fields. 17 or 18 years in coming, the original science campus was planned uh, uh, in 1998. So uh, this has been a long way today and the final building and, and really will finish out nicely the science campus. Before the groundbreaking, a dedication was held inside Rather Auditorium to commemorate the new building that is expected to open in the spring of 2017. But I remember shortly after I became governor in December of 2007 that there was a knock on my door in Frankfurt. And here came Dr. Miller, Dean O'Curris, not long after that, Harry Lee Waterfield, many others, and I started hearing about what we needed to do to finally finish this complex up. And they educated me about the importance of what this means, not only for Murray State University, but for this whole region. And so the first few budgets, there really wasn't any capital construction to speak of on any campus because we didn't have the money to do it. But as we started coming back out of that recession, we had the opportunity to make some proposals to the General Assembly. And this engineering and physics building to finish this complex was one of those priorities on the top of our list that we were gonna try to do. Currently, physics and engineering classes are held in the Blackburn Science Building. While the facility has served students and faculty well over the years, the building is beginning to show its age. The new engineering and physics building on the Gene W. Ray Science Campus will be state of the art and will better serve the interests of the MSU faculty and students. We'll have very well appointed classrooms. We'll have brand new laboratories, teaching laboratories for instruction, but we'll also have research laboratories for our faculty. We'll have a science resource center that's a real uh, center for information exchange, information gathering, kind of like a science library that will be on the site here. It'll have a two bay, uh, a high bay area that's two stories tall that'll allow us to do some bigger engineering projects and things that we have been uh, really unable to do before because of the confines of small spaces. Now we can do larger, more expansive kinds of things. We hope to have a rapid prototyping center and do some advanced manufacturing types of engineering as well. 